All right, so we have seen how collections can be useful to get a list of entities that uh, belong to a particular bundle. Um, but uh, we have also seen that that leads to a lot of data to be sent back. Uh, we can see how many articles we have here. Uh, we could keep scrolling. And you can see how the scroll bar, how small it is. Uh, and there's a lot of data that we send here. And in the end, it may not even be all of it, because uh, we may even have uh, more than 50 items. And right now we are selecting 50 items. So how do we deal with large collections? Um, one of the, the things that, that we can do, uh, or one of the things that we have to notice, is that the JSON API module comes with built-in pagination. And that is uh, not an option. Um, because uh, you don't want to uh, have the uh, a site that have uh, that has a thousand nodes. Uh, you don't want anyone to trigger a request for a thousand nodes because that may bring the um, the server down. So so pagination is uh, is mandatory and uh, it has uh, an upper limit. So how do we deal with uh, the size of the page and how we loop through the different pages is what we're going to uh, be uh, treating here. So uh, the, the pagination object uh, is called page, and it has two different parameters. It has a limit parameter. Uh, so what that means is that this is the page size. And uh, with the page size, uh, I can set it to 3. And you will see that I only get three articles back. Uh, which is nice because this this is the way that I can use to get uh, first three articles, um, and if everything went well, we should only have three articles. And uh, yeah, th that looks good. Um, so, but that only gives me the first page. In order to get the second page, uh, we need to use the other pagination object keyword, which is offset. Um, and in here, you need to be careful because this is like uh, a sliding window. Uh, we are getting three objects starting at the offset zero. And that's what you would get by default. So if we click send, we will see that we get the exact same results that we were getting uh, before. Right, the three same articles. Um, so if I set this to one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this. I'm going to move the offset uh, one. So I'm going to drop this, and I'm going to get a new one under here. right? I'm going to still get three, but I'm going to uh, get the next. Uh, I'm going to move the cursor to start at position one instead of at position zero. So if you think of this as pages, you probably want to do offset three. So uh, use the same value that you're using for the limit for the offset. So if to, if I do this, uh, I will get records instead of uh, zero, one, and two, I'm going to get the three, four, and five records, uh, which indeed are what we are getting here. So uh, you can uh, you can quickly see that we have links set for pagination, and this is very easy to uh, to navigate because you can just go to the next page, and it will automatically uh, do this trick of using the same value that you have for the limit for the offset. Uh, so we are currently at uh, the second, or sorry, the f yeah, it would be the second page. Um, the, the second page, which is offset three, and the next page is offset six. So I'm going to click this and click send, and I'm going to get three um, three articles back, three records or entities, and then uh, we're going to get the next link. So I could keep clicking until I reach the end, because I'm always going to get another.
I'm, I'm gonna be always getting a next link until at the end I I don't get it uh, when I'm in the in the last page I will not get uh, a next link um, so the same goes for the previous link and uh, it's all, always a combination of offset and offset and limit uh, but uh, notice that you are not limited to to have multiples of limit inside of the object uh, uh, inside of the offset parameter you could have this set to 13 for instance and you move the cursor 13 positions and then get the next three items uh, which may be uh, which may be useful in in several scenarios we still get three uh, but we are at the 13 position so that's it for for pagination um, uh, hopefully this is simple enough uh, but it is very useful uh, notice that if you need uh, more than 50 items uh, and that is the the maximum cap of items that you will get from the JSON API module you will need to have your front-end code to loop through different pages and as, as we have seen this is easy to do programmatically because they can just keep if there is a next link in the response they can just keep requesting whatever is in here uh, they don't even need to do any calculations uh, with the um, with the offset and the limit uh, and now I'm getting a uh, I'm gonna make a request to a collection without any pagination options so the default is gonna come back uh, and the default is limit 50 items so uh, you could just get the next 50 the next 50 the next 50 until there are known to to request so uh, that's pretty much it um, I hope that you find this useful